Now, Greg. Yes. Since this uh, was your idea, right? This topic, we will start with you. What okay. is your unpopular <laughs> opinion? This might rub a lot of people the wrong way, but the optics of firemen need improving. The other day in my neighborhood, there was a medical emergency. A fire truck showed up and an ambulance showed up. And I thought, what is going on? There was some medical emergency. It was pretty dire. And they get out. They talk. They walk slowly. And I'm thinking, like, hurry! It's a medical (laughs) emergency. (laughs) Something is happening. They they get the stretcher (laughs) out. They slowly wheel it up the driveway. They chat some more. Then they walk up the stairs, knock on the door. I'm like... You guys have got to hurry. There's sirens. You're blocking off the street. Right. And I'm thinking, like, make it at least look urgent. (laughs) Work on your optics. Like their coats are halfway open. I know. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) And then when you see, when you drive past a car crash and you see medics and how about some urgency here? Don't just walk to them. <laughs> well, what I if know. they're already dead? Well, then What's it's the rush. Then take yeah, your time. True. It is weird time. when you call the ambulance that a fire truck is going to show up as well. Well, I've been oh, saying yeah. that yeah. for years. Is you got to come on, policy, people. Let's, right? let's well, it's not streamline this. You can get a smaller vehicle. Right. right. Don't bring the, the hose ladder right. to my right. house. Yes, yeah. Exactly. To give me right. CPR. Yeah. Because I broke my ankle yeah. or something like, like that. Yeah. Fire truck sprinter van or something. Like any kind of like ambulance call is going to lead to a minimum of six, seven, eight people. That's so right. it's not surprising that there are people milling, yeah. especially if it's not like someone's doing CPR compressions or yeah. something like that. I had the right. same thought, like maybe they're milling because other people are attending to this medical emergency, mm-hmm. but they were all milling. And the stretcher, <laughs> <That's 100% laughs> milling. And the stretcher <laughs> sat on the driveway. So much milling. For so long. Yeah. And yeah. I know what they're going to say. Yeah. They're going to say, well, a lot of, we get a lot of BS calls yes. of people who don't really need ambulances uh-huh. and yeah. so on and so But still, well, then to yeah. send less people. I know. There's exactly. a way to make this more efficient. Exactly. Yeah. Taking smoke breaks. So they, <laughs> they need to work on their optics game. Uh, the other one I had, and this maybe this is not unpopular, but I truly believe that there's no such thing as what they call a predatory loan. Uh, yeah. If I'm sitting yeah. at home and somebody crashed through my door and grabbed me under duress and made me sign <laughs> a loan, sure, that's predatory. Yeah. yeah. But a bunny rabbit doesn't ask a coyote to attack it. It seeks out. You go and look for a loan. You agree to the loan. If you didn't read it, Boo-hoo. Yeah. A lot of people just... Uh, the term predatory loan has they, got to die. They uh-huh. want something so badly, they'll sign anything that will allow them to get it without really reading it or thinking uh-huh. like, oh, well, okay, I'll figure that out later. Right. Yep. And then they get into a situation where it's like, wow, I uh, I went and got this house that's exactly. $400,000 yeah. and I make $25,000 a year. Right. right. And then they realize, oh, for the first couple of years, my payments are manageable. But right. it says right here, after three years, yeah. it'll be triple the amount. The and then I can't afford mm-hmm. it. Those damn predatory things. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I feel the same about any loan. Yeah. You know, student loans. I get it. I, it sucks. You got to repay them. Mm-hmm. You feel like you're mm-hmm. and, and you went through all this and now you're out of college and you know, trying the, to get a foothold. Uh-huh. Yeah, right. It's it's exactly. not going, but like you know, nobody forced you exactly. Don't to take that loan. I mean, I, I agree. Unpopular opinion, yeah. but so sorry. It, there's yeah. no such thing as a predatory loan. Eight seven seven forty four Woody. That's eight seven seven forty four Woody. Somebody says, uh, "I'm from Minnesota. I do not like Prince. Every oh. time a song comes on, I cringe a little." I, oh, I'm no. not. I'm not even from Minnesota, and that's an unpopular <laughs> opinion. I hate Prince. Yeah, but that's yeah. real unpopular. I'll, I'll, see your, I'll see your don't like and raise you. Yeah, but eight. Yeah, but I understand that because uh, uh. I feel the same way about Bruce Springsteen. Like, I don't oh. get it. Like, but if you're from Hallelujah Jersey and you say, like, I don't really, or from Philadelphia and you say, oh, I don't really know about Rocky, like, there, there's like <laughs> certain places. Where you have to be you have to like a, a, yeah, you have to be like a, a worshiper of whatever it is just because you they're have to toe that line. Yeah, they're from your area or whatever. Mm-hmm. Right. Because like, that inherently uh, makes them great. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, I don't care where Springsteen's from. No matter where he's from, he can't sing. Uh, six one oh people spending two months rent on Taylor Swift tickets are stupid and don't deserve money. Uh, is that unpopular I opinion? I, don't, I think that's a mainstream opinion there, six one oh. Because they're just having fun, right, Menace? Yeah, let them live. Yeah. I mean, if they want to do it. Financial irresponsibility is fine if you're having fun. (laughs) You'll be homeless next month. Why are you flipping it on me? I agreed with you. I don't know, but typically that would be something. Be like, that is true. Just having Uh, fun. Yeah, let's what do we want to do? I'm surprised you agree. (laughs) I'm surprised you agree. I I think it's a dumb decision, but if they want to do it, then go ahead and do it. Uh, Rebby, what's your unpopular opinion? Let's kind of stay where Kim was in uh, the baking realm. And my unpopular opinion is... Oatmeal raisin 
is the best cookie out there. I'm taking oatmeal raisin over chocolate chip or whatever else you got. If I'm going to the bakery, it's oatmeal raisin Mm. all day. It is the best cookie. Boom. Wow. Mic drop. I mean, really going out there on the list. Yeah. Some old lady. Leave, leave it to Raby to drop the hard truth. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. The best cookie out there. You better watch your back on the oh, way out today. Yeah. And crocheting yeah. rules. Grant, how many how many emails are we gonna get for the crossroads on that one? God, people are gonna hate me for this. Yeah. But you can have your bucket of chocolate chips yeah. all day. Thank yeah, you. the cookie I would monster. take the oatmeal raisin bucket. The cookie monster is getting jumpy in the parking lot. <laughs> I am. Look, yeah. I put it out there. <laughs> All right, I am right. willing to deal with the consequences. Bring it, bring it, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> here's a call. Here's a call we got on the after hours voicemail. Hey guys, unpopular opinion: cold food out of the refrigerator is the best. I don't care what anybody says. Oh it's damn! Way better. Chicken tenders, <laughs> pizza, oh, God, no. wings. Anything. It's just way better out of the fridge. All right. Thanks, guys. Well, it just sounds like you made an argument for all things chicken and then pizza. Yeah. I mean, I agree. Like spaghetti? Yeah, no Cold way. spaghetti? No. no. And Cold nugs? soup? Heck no. Oh, they're the worst. Like, I can yeah. speak on this, and I've gotten, as I've been on the receiving end of this guy, you guys made fun of me, when, especially when I was living in the RV, mm-hmm. for just eating stuff, like, straight out of the can soup and all this other yeah. stuff. Mm-hmm. Dinty mm-hmm. Moore stew. Yeah. Right, and you guys eat. said, and I didn't, and in the office, I'll eat stuff that's unheated. I'm not, uh, but this guy's wrong. It's not better. It's just easier. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's not a better, more convenient. It's not a better food experience. But why wouldn't you choose something else? Like you know, the stuff that you bring into the office that you just eat right out of the can. Like he brought in like chili, like a can of chili, and he was just eating this eating chili it, uh, out like, of the can, straight out of the can. Like why, why that, and not something else that would be more conducive to you know? It's like you're a hobo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and it's not like don't, we don't have uh, microwaves. When, when, when you literally yeah. live in a van by on the side of the road, you are a hobo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that, that was more just convenient. Like it's here. I don't want to take a trip to then pour it in because with like a can, you got to pour it in a bowl. But then you bring the can of chili here to eat cold. Right, but it, just, it but the can sits. The cans were there whenever I want it, and mm-hmm. I, just, I grab yeah. the can, eat. I don't have to like then do another bowl, then a heating, yeah. then grab mm-hmm. a you know. Mm-hmm. It's, it, Sometimes without a spoon, you just kind of uh-huh. in your mouth. You drink yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, five and nine. Mine is that I don't think the office is all that good. Yeah, you hear that. I love the office. Worship it. Mm-hmm. I stopped watching when they started doing that like weird iPad thing. That weird iPad. Thing. When they what got in, when, when they became like a tech company, is that's that's when I fell off of oh, the show. Oh, that was they like... became a printer company. No, but then they had like some weird iPad. There was no iPad. Oh, they that was part of that company. They had like a weird triangle thing. Yeah. For Saber. Yeah. There you go. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay. But that, okay. That was like a small yeah. soft yeah. story of a right. part of a season. Let's see here. I agree with this one, Shan. Teslas are overrated. Agreed. Mm. Uh, you should have mm. to pass a political competency, te- competence, competency, competency? test mm-hmm. to vote. Oh, that's good. Cities, yep. Yeah. Uh, agreed. <laughs> Children should be a privilege, not a right, and there should be a limit, says Monica. Yeah, all, <laughs> all right. right. Move to a communist country, <laughs> yeah. then. Uh, Michael it. says that uh, tipping should be a tax write-off if we're paying employees. Oh, interesting. That's, just, that's, that's an interesting nice uh, angle. Or at least, yeah, yeah deductible. Uh, Tracy, pet parents are not the same as real parents. Lies. They're also not parents. <laughs> yeah. They're, yeah, <laughs> exactly. owners. yeah, that's just a I'm, vicious I'm lie. not a parent. Yeah. Well, well, that's been, a, that's, that's not been an invention of the social media era. Yeah. Okay, so the last time we brought that up, there was a text, and we didn't get to it on the air, but somebody said, okay, well, then, um, you know, it, yeah, you didn't give birth to them, but uh, so are you saying that uh, people who adopt children, they're owners of that children, uh, that child because they didn't they didn't mm. birth them. That's a good angle. No, it's not yeah, a good angle. Yeah, that's a great angle. <laughs> you're, still, you're still legally yeah, that's valid. You're yeah. still their legal parent and guardian. You can't just like toss them into the. You can't just leave them at the side what of the road. What a stupid comparison. Yeah, terrible argument. Says you, know. you. You still have all the same legal <laughs> responsibilities yeah. for a human being uh-huh. that you yeah. do not have for a yeah. animal. All right, what is your unpopular opinion, Seabass? I will uh, <clears throat> rip mine from the headlines. Sorry, menace, but thug life isn't that cool. <laughs> <laughs> really going out on a whim there, <laughs> but let, yeah, uh, obviously, it, but it's not just it's not just not cool for let's say John ja Morant, a guy who was, oh geez. who's going to make two hundred million dollars, idiot, moron, flashing guns around. Yeah. It's just not cool in general. But 
I, I, this is an unpopular opinion because, you know, for the past 30 years, you know, you go back to early 90s, NWA, Snoop Dogg, et cetera. Right. It's become the, the standard. Chronic. Yeah, all that stuff. Like, everybody, all little kids, you know, like people your son's age, what are you like, oh, man, I'm going to be a thug. What? No, it's not cool. Not, yeah, not it's, cool. It's not interesting. It it's ends not, in nothing positive. And it's not hard to do either. It's super right. easy right. to be violent and mm, shoot people yeah, and steal right. things. That's not hard to do. It's not cool. <laughs> Again, not cool, rich, everybody. Rich or poor, sorry, not cool. Yeah. Uh, Menace, sorry, Menace, what's your unpopular opinion? Okay, now I'm just going to state that I do support it, and I think it does help a lot of people, but I feel that there is a large majority of people that do therapy that are just not honest with themselves, that they just pretend that they don't know why they act the way that they do, and they go to therapy to try to figure it out, even though they already know the answer. Okay. So wouldn't they go to therapy to... It's are you, so are you no, saying therapy pretending... is a waste of time? No. I, well, for yeah. some people, I think it is. <laughs> really? I see, yeah. I see what he's saying. I'm saying yeah, like, kind of oh, I, well, I'm i an alcoholic. Well, blah, blah. well, yeah, your parents were alcoholics. Okay. And uh, that therefore, you learned it from them. So but wouldn't like, the why, why would you like... Go there to figure out why you're an alcoholic. Well, because the therapy then mm. helps you to become like a functioning a non person. Yeah, not alcoholic. I think Dennis right. is saying no. Just, there's a lot of people step. that pretend to be yeah. stupid and they don't okay. like. <laughs> I, I don't know the, why they act the way that they do. I think a waste of time are the people that uh, go to the doctor and then lie to the doctor. Yeah. Right. Yeah, <laughs> right. Or they go to yeah. therapy. Uh, and it's kind of it's kind of on the same level as that. And they yeah. lie to the therapist. <laughs> yeah. You know, like what's the point? Right. That is a waste of time. Yeah. That's true. That it's is a like, waste of time. Let's oh, go. My t- marriage sucks. Like, yeah, because your husband's a dick. Uh, let's go to uh, BK. Good morning, BK. BK. Yeah. What's your unpopular opinion? Self checkout to car corral. There shouldn't be car corrals or self self checkout. I don't get pay a discount for uh, doing my self checkout, and the car corrals takes jobs away from those used to be <laughs> initial jobs for in- people starting. Uh, Working in the grocery industry. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, does the uh, carton arc have anything to say about that? Look, I hear this sort of uh, BS from uh, mouth breeders all the time. I mean, we're hearing right now. And, he, yeah, if you don't want self-checkout, that's fine. You can hire don't more use people. it. Yeah, don't use it. There you're are, also, yeah, you're not forced to use that, by the yeah. way. And, right? by the way, There's car, options. car corrals haven't been yeah. around all the time. Guess what? People didn't dump their, in the 50s, 60s, 70s, Google mm-hmm. image search old pictures. You don't see carts scattered across the lot because people weren't effing animals they would take their carts all the way back to the front of the store so his arguments fall flat on both cases and he's a mouth breather. not really yes really yes, not really, yes, really. Yeah. Because where am i wrong before they before they used to have people and especially entry-level jobs that was their job to go out and rot they still do the I, they still do and uh, i had that job in the yeah, 90s they, they get the, as they get... i expressed before as a member of the uh, you know, grocery union. Yeah, uh, right. That was not my job. Well, no, I mean, entry level. Not, not, I was not part your job. Yeah, the, yeah. The, 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 the argument. The argument yeah. is that yes, okay. So the employees will go and they'll collect them from the corrals. They shouldn't mm-hmm. be chasing individual carts at various places. Yes. throughout the parking they, lot. They will if, if you and leave them out there because the they have to because they're not yeah. just going to leave it forever. Yeah, and yeah. that mm-hmm. is still the job to, for them to go. Cl- you're not. You're not seeing like the uh, the customers go out there. And collect the cards yeah. from the corral. Unless at, that's Aldi, which yeah. again, all it takes is twenty five cents. That's you it. lazy fat asses. <laughs> yeah. And no one leaves their cards yeah. out. Like I like to self check out because I can get out of there quicker. Because right. I'm also not an idiot and I know how to work it. Like unlike ninety percent mm-hmm. of the people that are in that line, <laughs> they look at it like, oh, uh-huh. what is this? Like it's a Rubik's cube. Yeah, like, what? You know, but, idiots uh, at the ATM. At the same yeah. time, I know a lot of people that hate them. And don't use them for that reason because they like it never works. Oh, yeah, you're to use them. And you're not forced to. You yeah. can go to a cashier. Yeah, BK, thank you for the call. Appreciate it, man. Let's go to uh, <laughs> Adam. Hey, good morning, Adam. Morning. Morning. All right, what's your unpopular opinion? All right, so this might strike a nerve or two, but considering the franchises, both franchises as a whole, Star Wars is better than Marvel. Mm. Okay, I'm sure uh, I mean, Bort I don't think agree. that's unpopular at all. Really? A lot of people feel that way. Yeah? I would say people that love Star Wars and Marvel, over 50% feel that way. Yeah, so I'm saying, like, from the outside looking in. I would say from the out, like, from somebody like not in the geek and nerd community. Like, if they told me today I would have to start stop watching one, it would be Marvel. And it wouldn't even be it close. It would? Yeah. Wow. It's, all, it's the same thing over I'm surprised. And over. Yeah. Ease, peace. Really? See, mm-hmm. I would I would have lost that bet. Ease, oh, wow. peace. Wow. Hmm. I would have th- said, wouldn't you have said, Greg, like, Marvel over Star I, Wars for yeah, maybe? because of the variety. Yeah, I would have said DC, but oh, get it, man. <laughs> she hates it. 
<laughs> All right, Adam, thank Thanks, you for the Adam. call. Appreciate you listening to the Woody Show. Sammy, what's your unpopular opinion? I don't actually believe our votes count. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. I, it, what is that? Fraud. that Alex Jones Me neither. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With that being said, I do vote. Like the people who say, you know, they don't believe in God, but then sometimes they pray just in case. Right. Uh, like <laughs> I vote just in case, but I yeah. don't actually believe they count. Yeah. I, I'm kind of with Sammy. Not. I wish it would have had something a little bit more like, you know, controversial. Like rabies, oatmeal, cookie. Hello. Yeah, I know. Oh, sorry. Wow. Uh, that, that got, got a lot brutal. of reaction, you guys. <laughs> the most reaction out of anybody. Yeah, but I, I'm with Sammy on that. Not because of the most recent like elections, because of all the voter fraud stuff. But like I would say, 15 years ago, I went to go turn in my ballot towards the end, and they just threw it under the machine, and they're just like, "Oh, we'll count it later." <laughs> I go, are you? We'll put it in there. You're yeah. pretty much already printing out the results. Well, it's like yeah. when you see yeah. uh, the stories about, oh, they found like a whole batch of uncounted uh-huh. ballots in this in, place. In like, some canyon. Yeah. It's, I think it's just it, the, the sheer numbers. It's so mm-hmm. big yeah. that I, I don't I don't think that they, to say that every vote is counted, I don't think that's no. necessarily even, I mean, I'm sure in some way it's possible, but like not with the system. Like in some places, like they literally have a box with a padlock on it. Mm-hmm. Where people are yeah. dropping their, you know, their paper ballot into right. a thing. Other places are touch screen and, yeah. and and everything in between. And we all know how well things work. Yeah, people, exactly. People want to go home. It's a late night. Yeah, Just throw them in the trash. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's what. That's Woody, what what's your yeah. popular opinion? <laughs> oh, we hear those um, quite often. But. And mine is ripped, <laughs> and mine is also ripped from the headlines. And uh, I know a lot of people aren't going to like this. It's a it's a big thing right now. Um, but uh, you know, I feel that it is possible to be supportive of somebody's decision to be trans and not agree with everything 100%. Like, there, I think there is a, a middle ground there. Like, I don't care if somebody wants to live their life as a woman and be called this name from now on and now you're a chick or mm-hmm. fine or a dude, whatever the case may be, mm-hmm. fine. But if that means I got to go along with, you know, now biological men competing with women right. in sports and also these drag shows in front of kids, like... Do you realize what kind of stink would be raised if we had chicks from the Spearmint Rhino showing up at a, you know, whatever and doing those same types of moves and dances and yeah. like people would freak out. But because the people in question are in drag, you're not, you're not supposed to say anything about it. I just think that's wrong. And then also the gender uh, affirmation stuff for anybody under the age of 18. If you want to be 18 and up and you decide that's what you want to do. Great. I don't care. Go for it. But like, you know, seeing, Seeing uh, the, the argument that uh, I, I, I don't think that you should have to agree with everything, no matter everything what it on is, on the agenda, one hundred percent, in order to be then supportive of somebody. We know plenty of people, or be deemed phobic. There's right. a couple. There's a couple uh, listeners that show up to our events who are trans. I don't have any problem with them at all. I really, I really don't. But if it means that I have to fall in line with all this stuff, I guess if it's one or the other, then I would say then no. If that's if that's your only option, mm-hmm. but I'm saying I don't have any problem if you, however you want to live your life or whatever name you want to go by or whatever pronouns you want to go by, it's fine. Send your tweets to at JK Rowling. Yeah. Hey, yo, <laughs> leave yeah. her be. It's fine, but the, the the but the fact that you know if I'm not in lockstep 100 percent with whatever it is that uh, people want to do under the guise of that, well, you know, I'm, I guess I, that I, I I would be okay with being labeled a transphobe even though i can tell you that i'm not right right Makes and sense. i know that i'm not i just think it's crazy some of the other things that uh and i think that's just people who want to like shove it in the face of people who are completely opposed to mm-hmm. everything i don't know. i get it yeah